Hello YouTube. It's cold outside and we're making homemade chili today. This is what we call a Tex-Mex chili recipe. It's not as spicy as the four alarm chili recipe mix that you can buy in the store. It's the way we like it. You'll want to start with one pound of lean ground meat. In this video I am making a double batch so if it looks like a lot more than that that's why. Season your ground meat with a little salt and a little pepper and you will want to cook the ground meat until it's brown. This does give a little bit better flavor. Then to the ground beef when you get it done you'll want to add one cup of chopped onion and one half a cup of chopped bell peppers. When you see that the onions have begun to wilt or kind of start translucent looking around the edges, you'll add two cans of pinto beans. I can my own, so I'm using a quart of pinto beans. Then after you bring that back up to a boil, you'll want to add one can of petite diced tomatoes, or if you're doing a double recipe like myself, you can use one full quart if you can tomatoes and have a pint, a pint will be sufficient in this recipe. Keep your heat on medium at this time and you'll want to bring it back up to a, a simmer and when you get it at a simmer you can slack the heat off a little bit and just have it at a low simmer. You'll want to add about a half a cup of water to it because this recipe is going to cook down for cooking for you know 20 to 30 40 minutes next we're going to be adding our seasonings we're going to season the chili with three tablespoons of chili powder one tablespoon of garlic powder one and one half teaspoons of onion powder and one teaspoon of cumin after you get your seasonings added you will stir the chili mix up real well into the chili and put a lid on it and simmer it for a good 20 minutes. You will want to stir it ever so often to make sure that for some reason it is not sticking to the bottom of the pot. Once you get your chili simmered for 20 minutes, that type of time is a good time to taste it to see if it needs more chili powder for your taste, more onion powder, more garlic. When you're cooking, it's all about cooking and making things the way you want it. Uh, at this time you can see if it needs salt or pepper and if so add more I do like a pretty good bit of black pepper in my chili it does give it a good taste then you're going to put the lid back on it and keep simmering it and stirring it for an additional 20 minutes at least I cook mine a good 45 minutes to an hour in this pot you can see that it's reduced down three quarters of an inch or so you can serve your chili over rice or fritos, chop a little, top it with a little bit of cheese on top. Hope you enjoy this chili recipe. It's a favorite of ours. We do it a lot in the winter time. Hope you enjoy our homemade Tex-Mex chili recipe. This is a low fat, low cal way to make it. This is the pressured prepper and I'm out.